Watchmen is an overrated movie. I'm Dr. Mint Haddon, and I saw Watchmen. It is directed by Zack Snyder, written by David Hayter and Alex Shea. If you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. This movie starts, we're following a sequence of who the Watchmen are, why are they popular from the 30s to the 70s, what happened from everybody loving them to hating them, and we're now in a culture where everyone hates vigilantes, everyone's anti-vigilante, someone breaks into the comedian's apartment and throws him through a window, and Warshak is trying to figure out what's happening. The first two acts are so long and so long, uh, too many details for me to remember that don't even pretend, pertain to the end of the movie. The only thing that pertains to the end of the movie is that Warshak goes to prison, he gets unmasked, Warshak says a cool line like, I'm not stuck in here with you, you're stuck in here with me, which is a pretty awesome line. Warshak is a great character because he does illegal stuff in order to do the vigilante that he's trying to do. Too many dead bodies. The police hate him. The police hate vigilantes. He's trying to find out what happened to the comedian. He goes to the funeral of the comedian. There's this guy there and the guy's like, oh yeah, this, co the comedian just broke into my house and started rambling some things. And the Warshak's like, huh, weird. I think all these people are trying to get rid of vigilantes. They're going one by one and getting rid of all these people. Dr. Manhattan is a great character. I like his introduction. I feel like, Scenes with Dr. Manhattan are the only time that I like, and also Warshak whenever he's in a scene too, during the first and second act. Everything else is so freaking boring, and it's awful two hours and 41 minutes for this piece of trash? Why couldn't you cut it down in half? I know it's a native an adaptation of the comic book, I understand that, but bro, cut some things out, okay? Cut some things out for the mover viewer experience so I don't have to watch so many details get thrown away and not addressed in the third act. Zack Snyder ruined Superman. He did a good job with Watchmen because it's dark, nitty gritty world, okay? Don't introduce that to Superman, who is supposed to be the good boy. He's a guy you put on a pedestal to achieve to. You're supposed to be like, man, I want to be like Superman. He does all the things good. But Zack Snyder made it so he's an edge lord, and it's trash that you just destroyed that character, Zack Snyder. Why did you do that? Oh, the movie execs were like, oh yeah, Watchmen did a good job, let's give him Superman, which is the complete opposite of Watchmen totally, and he did Watchmen again with freaking Superman. Bad job. When the movie starts getting good is when people are accusing Dr. Manhattan of giving everyone cancer that he's nearby, but those chicks who are saying they got cancer are just lying about it, and he gets exiled to the moon. Nope, he goes straight to Mars. He's like, screw the moon. That's not far away from enough from humanity. I'd rather go to Mars. Mars is cool and it's away from humanity. Not in Elon's lifetime. They're gonna come and get you, Dr. Manhattan. Hoo hoo. Anyway, so here's what I actually like about Watchmen. The very end, you got the big brain character. He's like telling all these people like, hey, yo, I'm telling what my plan is. And they're like, we're gonna stop it. He's like, would I tell you my plan if you could stop it somehow? No. And so this bomb goes off, <laughs> kills 50 million people. It's blamed on Dr. Manhattan. And the overall goal was to have everybody come together and focus on one common enemy, which is now Dr. Manhattan and he's on Mars. So who cares if he's around to be the enemy? He's like a boogeyman, boogeyman in everyone's eyes. Oh wow, amazing, good job. Now we gotta hate Dr. Manhattan, which I thought was pretty genius. I thought it was pretty genius to tell the, these guys what your plan is after you've done all the steps to enact it. It's pretty good. That's pretty much how Watchmen ends. I think this movie could have been cut in at least 30 minutes. Cut at least 30 minutes to 45 minutes, okay? The first two acts are so freaking boring that I had to stop the movie halfway through just so I can sit down again and be like, okay, it's time to watch Watchmen again. Oh, amazing. I'm having a better time enjoying the Watchmen comic. Check out Men's Got Issues in the future for a future Watchmen review. 
Let me know in the comments below how excited you are for me to review the Watchmen comic on Mint's God Issues. Pacing wise, this is bad. I think everyone's like, oh, Watchmen's amazing because they remember the last act in the first act, but it's it's in human nature not to remember the middle of something. So everyone just blanked out on the middle, but the middle is the most boring part of the movie. The first part of the movie is like, okay, cool, we're establishing the world. And then the last part of the movie is like, oh, this is pretty awesome. I can't believe you duped everyone. And then the middle part is like, all filler trash and I hate it. Why do people like Watchmen? It freaking sucks. Zack Snyder, you should have not been given Superman. And so I had to give this movie Oh god, the only good part's the last act? It's pretty redeeming, honestly. So, I gotta give this movie it's a solid 6.5 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one. The platform really likes that $20 deal. It's on patreon.com slash ASU presents. For one movie review per one month, go to this link to support the daily grindiness of all them daily movie reviews. So, you can go here. And until next time, Min Saud Saw, I'll see you later by Saud Croutons Bake a Bit. And I wanna go to Mars now because I wanna get away from all the people who think that Watchmen is such a good movie. It's not, it's freaking boring. I'm gonna go freaking dissipate and go to Mars now. Goodbye.